To perform the individual manual muscle test for coracobrachialis, the patient is seated. The stabilization is provided almost entirely by the chair at back. The limb is placed in 60 degrees of flexion, full external rotation, full elbow flexion, and full supination. We put them in full elbow flexion and supination to make the bicep so short that it can't help out with the test. Once they're in this position, a resistance is applied to the distal humerus and it is applied in a posterior and slightly lateral uh, direction. So mostly into extension, somewhat into shoulder abduction, abduction. And just like this, hold that position. Don't let me move you. Hold, 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 hold. Very good. Substitutions would include shoulder retraction, elbow extension, which seems kind of strange, but if they extend the elbow, it would put the biceps into a length where it could actually help with this motion then. Um, and also, I forgot. and also trunk lateral flexion to help with this movement. Coracobrachialis is palpated right at the coracoid process and it will be just medial, just toward midline from the tendon of the short head of the biceps.